Hi, this is Rochelle. This is tutorial number two of two for the uh, Pinterest uh, marketing tips. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do a little um, recap. So stay with me. Okay, the first place that I need you to go is to your avatar where the YouTube, your uh, YouTube is. Okay, you're going to click in there. You're going to see this is where you are right now. You look at this right here, which is uh, the uh, Gmail address. Okay, that is your Google account. Now, the new one that I made in tutorial one, I go down here to where it says switch account, and I click on the arrow, and I choose the channel that I want to go to, and it'll have the Gmail address here, 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 depending on where your accounts are. So this is mine, the uh, Pinterest marketing uh, tips. So I'm just going to click in here. Okay, now as you can see, the avatar there has changed, and, and my channel has gone to the top here on the top right. So you click into the avatar. My channel. Click. Okay, so now we're in the uh, new channel uh, that I made. And I did want to get this changed over. There's a few things that I need to go through first, okay? All right. So this is the uh, YouTube channel. Um, now, going to these dots here on the left-hand side is now going to take me into this iGoogle portal right here. Now this is where you can have a look at all the gadgets that can be changed. It can also be moved around depending on, you know, what you want to do. But right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting into my Google links here, okay? So if I want to go to my Gmail, I just click into my Gmail and my Gmail is going to come up. Now with each new uh, Google that you make, so Gmail created the first tutorial. So it's just loading that right now. Now, when I click on this button right here, this new tab, you're going to see these here. These are the, the previous places that you've been to, and it records it. Um, if you want something else recorded, you just click on, sorry, on, I believe, the um, X. Say I wanted that taken out. Just click on that, and um, it'll actually give me another one. You should also be able to, unless they've changed it. And they, it looks like it has been changed. Okay, so Facebook, and I'm just going to look into something here and make sure I have a couple of Facebooks. I want to make sure that I'm in the right Facebook. Um, I'm just going to 
type it in here in my um, let's just see Usually, uh, Facebook has a good memory here. Okay, so this is actually my Facebook here that I made. It's going to come up. This is the uh, Pinterest marketing tips. Okay, so now we're at my uh, my Facebook here. And um, just as a recap, sorry, where did it go? The, as a recap, this was what we took from the um, Amazon. Okay, this is the next one that we're going to open, is the Amazon, and either you're going to find it in um, your saved URLs down here, or you can type it in. Now, you should have already joined Amazon, and you already have an account, so what you're going to see is you're going to see here, text, image, text, text and image, side, stripe. You have to make sure that this, you've done this right and you have this showing up on your screen. Okay? And then here it will say your account with your name. Now, if you don't have that, stop the video and make sure that you get this and you see this here and you see this information here okay because we're going to be using that information and it needs to be set up properly okay so um, now we have um, the Gmail the Facebook the Amazon and the next one that we're going to go to is the Pinterest and I have my Pinterest up here but I could also click in there and click onto the the next one I'm going to do anyways because it would be not working if I didn't. My um, Amazon would disappear and my Pinterest would be there. Okay, so Pinterest. Okay, so make sure that you have your Pinterest, your Amazon, your Facebook, your Gmail. And the last one is, um, of course, your, um, your YouTube, which you should already have. Just click in there, and then I want to go to my YouTube. So which I did already have opened, and then I opened another tab. Okay. Okay, so that has actually given me my um, main channel. This is not where I want to be. I want to make sure, and you have to make sure that you are in the channel for the Gmail that you made. Okay, so just click on that. Okay, so now we are going to continue uh, with the tutorial. All right, now I've already did it, but I am going to do it over again. You can click on your um, upload right there where it says upload your video. Now there are two ways that you can uh, 
upload your video. One is you can use this arrow and find it in your computer. And the other one is you can use this arrow, find it in your computer, and drop it in. Okay, and I'm just going to show this. This is it right here. Okay. So now the way to do this is to just take it and drop it in. Okay. And then you're going to see that it's uploading. Now what's going to happen with this is um, it's probably going to say that this is a a duplicate. So, if it does, uh, that's okay. I'm just going to um, create a duplicate uh, um, new window to look at so that I'm able to uh, show you um, what's happening in here. So, so Look for that to finish, and I just want to actually go to these lines right here and back to my channel. Okay, now I do have two tabs open right now where I am on my channel twice. Okay, okay, so um. Do you see the difference here in this with the uh, YouTube uh, with the new YouTube? It just looks so different. Oh, you know what? I think that I'm just looking at it from a different view. So, anyways, we won't worry about that. So, I believe that it's better just to go into the YouTube Studio Beta right now because I want to show you this um, this, this video. It is the same video that I'm uploading right now. And as a recap, I did go to Creative Commons. I chose the video that I wanted. It happened to be one of my own videos. Uh, but you can also go to create Creative Commons if you don't have a video of your own, depending on what you're do doing on your channel. Okay, so going into the videos, you can see this one is still uploading. Now, for people who are not familiar with this, this is Studio. This is uh, want to get emails on how to grow your channel. Yes. If they ask you any questions like that, get as much information as you can. Okay, because all the information that you can get helps. Okay? Um, I can't get enough information. And it, it, if there's some more to learn, then I want to learn as well. I'm not an expert. I'm sharing my knowledge with you, and I, I hope that it helps. Okay, so now going into back into the YouTube Studio Beta as I just, they just took me out of it. This is now inside YouTube Studio, um, and it's going to be coming out of beta. This is going to be the only YouTube Studio. Okay, so let's see. We want to, for people who are not familiar with this, okay, this is my new channel. 
So, the channel analytics, current subscribers, I don't have any. Um, and it's okay, because I'm not really out in, in the public yet. So, whatever I'm doing is fine until I've done the series and uh, I could put it out properly. Um, it tells you the watch times and the number of views. Um, you could also click in the ideas for you, which I'm not going to get into right now. Okay, and this is the update on custom uh, thumbnails. Um, custom thumbnails should follow our community guidelines. FYI, violators may result in the new of a thumbnail and a strike on your ch on your account. Stuff like this is important, especially if you have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to click in the learn more right now. Okay, so. So what are they saying that there is now video thumbnails? See a quick snapshot of your video as they're browsing YouTube. Okay. Thumbnail policies. Let's have a look at that. All custom thumbnails. Just going to go a little bit larger. Okay, so why I'm reading this to you because this is important and you have to follow these guidelines and especially if you're building a YouTube channel because you will get a strike against your channel if you don't. All custom thumbnail images must follow our community guidelines selecting a thumbnail that shows nudity or sexual pro provocative content is considered hate speech betrays violence is considered harmful or dangerous may result in the rejection of your thumbnail and a strike on your account. Okay, well, I don't have any of those kind and I don't intend to. And then repeat offenses may lead to the removal of your custom thumbnail privileges for 30 days and ultimately an account termination. So, this does not apply to me, but it's good to know. Okay, so now getting back to my actual channel. All right, now going into the videos. See, this is a duplicate, and they don't allow you to um, upload a duplicate. But I just wanted to show you just how to upload it, and then we're going to go actually into the video that I uh, the <clears throat> I uploaded yesterday it, for the second tutorial. Okay. What did I do? The first thing that I did was I looked at the title. Okay. This is important. Your title. You want to see where are you going to end up in um, on the YouTube search engine. So let's go just back into this. No, I don't want to search in my channel. You see, I made that mistake before, and I don't want to do that. So that is not correct. I'm just going to take this one out into YouTube. There is a couple of differences in the YouTube Studio Beta. Um, how you can how you get online. Is, uh, Hi, this is Rochelle. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on using uh, Pinterest with um, what I just did, Amazon. and I'll do this again in one second. Okay, so you're going to go into your search. This is a search engine in here, okay? And what you want to do is you want to find out where you're going to end up, okay? So right now I'm searching and I'm seeing okay so now as you can see because I did this yesterday I ended up here so I have optimized this video to, to do that but 
if I wasn't here and say I was, um, and this is my other one from my other channel, right there, say I ended up down here, okay? Because I ended up down here, I would tell me that this title right here is not the title that I wanted. So what I do is I look at the up at the beginning and I see what are the titles up here. Okay? Now, I would then take a title, and this happens to be from my, my actual own um, video. So I'm using my video as an example. Okay? Hi, this is Rochelle. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on using uh, Pinterest with um, Amazon and Facebook and YouTube. There we go. Okay, now I would look at this and I would take my title, which it happens to be my title, but say it was different. I would take my title, I would copy it, go back, and I'm just going to show you. Go back into, um, okay, this is, a, this is a little bit of a problem here because I've already done this. I am going to upload another video and go through what I'm showing you here. So I'm going to upload another video, um, maybe one that I did from before. I believe that's the same one. That's one that I was working on the other day. Okay, in the quick access, sometimes it it doesn't show you a lot. Just looking for a quick video that I can upload just to show you. Okay, this is a video. I'm not sure what it is, but. Okay, just gonna upload this video. Okay, so hopefully it is, oops, it's not allowing me to do that. Okay, just gonna copy it. Okay, so I'm going to put my title in here. Okay, and going back. into here okay this is important okay okay take a minute right now and go to another tab and type in vid IQ okay now I have my um in my um, extensions already. Up, oh, hit one Q. See, I can't really, can't really reach the. Uh, there we go. Hard for me to, to type. So I'm actually sitting on the floor. Not on a table. Okay. 
So now vidIQ, go to the official site. Okay, if you don't have an account, sign up here. Oops. Sign up for free. Your name, your email. I already have an account. Actually, I will show you uh, your name. And I'm going to use my other email, a good one, um, Pinterest, the Pinterest one. that I always use. should say that, but just a password. And then confirm your password. And of course you can't copy it. Okay. Click this box here. Sign up for free. Are you a robot? What's happened here? It knows that I have an account. Why is it? What's going on here? I think because I already have an account that it's It's picking up on that. Okay, so just follow those directions that I gave you because I already have an account, so it knows this. The computer has a good memory. It's very smart, and it will tell you everything even if you forget. Okay, now vidIQ will give you um, charts. And here, number of YouTube views, uh, search, and of course, it's encountered an error. So let's go back. Okay. Um, All of these, your YouTube views, your YouTube likes, your YouTube comments. And it's searching right now. And I think it's getting confused between uh, my, t my channel that I'm using and my other channel there, because I do have uh, a couple of channels. It will also give you your top videos, top searches, what, um, oops, what people are interested in. If you have playlists, your top playlists, and the best times to post. Now, I didn't pay very much attention to this, but you really should. You should pay attention to when is the best time to post. And it looks like Monday at 12 o'clock a.m. Okay. Um, it gives you an overview of your subscriptions. I think uh, 24 to 48 hours. It, but you can also change it.
Um, it also gives you the trends, like here, seven days ago, there was a, everything was, was down, but I've been, um, doing pretty well. But the main thing is, is that I wanted to show you about the vidIQ is this. Okay, going back into your, um, this is where I have this. Okay, so now going back into here, and then going back into, um, out into uh, YouTube, which I believe is right here. This is the video that I told you about. You will see video tags here, okay? These are the tags that are working, all right? Now, if you are going to take some tags, you have to read the tags. You have to make sure that this is the information that you are going to present in your video, and that's important because it doesn't matter what kind of tags you use, uh, YouTube has a way of knowing what's inside your video and it has to be relative. Okay, so if I click on this little clip now, as I've shown you to go to the vidIQ and to um, uh, sign up and and then go from there, you will see that you will get this information. You will get these video tags. You will be able to see what your score is, your ranking score on the vidIQ. So mine is 46.8. Now because my channel isn't monetized yet and because I, I don't have a couple of other things that um, they look for, I seldom get over 70. Okay. It will also show you, yes, your title's good. Yes, you have good tags. Your description is good. You have a number of cards. And you see where it says end screens there? That means that I have to add an end screen. Okay. It hasn't been shared to Facebook or shared to Twitter yet. And there hasn't been a, a pinned comment or a hearted comment. Okay, so this is the algorithm right here that YouTube looks for. Okay. So I'm going to take these tags right here, just where it says copy tags to clipboard. Okay, I believe it's right click, copy, over to where my um, video is, and paste. I now have all the tags in here. Okay. Now, I can't stress this enough. There's my score right now. But I can't stress how important it is to make sure that you use these tags here. Pinterest, Amazon, affiliate marketing, make money from home, how to use Pinterest. You need to use these tags in your description. And the more tags you use, the higher your score is going to get. Okay, so I have already done that. As you can see, I'm just going to go, I'm not going to go into edit the video. I'm just going to go into here because I've already had this put together. And I'm going to copy this, but you can too if you want. You can, you can copy my stuff. I, I, I don't mind. Okay, but I don't suggest that you copy it from anybody else. Don't copy somebody else's work unless they 
allow you to because you could get a strike, a copyright strike, and you could get yourself in trouble. So don't do that. However, I don't care if you copy from me, it doesn't matter. Okay, and um, then I'm going to then go and put it in here. Okay, okay, and as you could see, did you see that number change? It now changed from 28 to 46.8. Okay. Now, I would have to watch this video to make sure that I have everything in here. But I think it's the one that I did for Christmas. So, I think it's okay. Okay, now, you don't want something to be public until you're ready for it. So, I make it private. And this is one of the, the algorithm that you have to do, is add it to a playlist. Okay, now you see how it's went from yellow to green? That means that my ranking is getting higher, although I haven't done any of this checklist yet. Now, of course, this I can't do this in monetization. That can't, okay, but I have added it to a playlist, but it has registered it yet and I haven't shared anything yet okay now I'm just going to go into the advanced settings because I'm not sure if this one yet doesn't I want to make sure that this is Creative Commons so that people know, know that they can use it allow embedding Allow embedding, publish to subscriptions. Okay, so another thing you're going to run into is you will not be able to finish processing uh, your video, your first video, until you verify it. There'll be a little thing that comes up and it says your account is not verified. You click on the verify. And I believe they're going to do a one-time phone call, automated phone call. It's going to give you some numbers, and you type them in, and then your account is verified. Okay, I'm just going to click Done. Now, it says my video is now ready. That means that if I didn't have it on private, that it would be online right now. But I don't want that. Okay, so, so I'm going to return to my editing, go back into my basic information, and have a look. Now, I can either use this. I could put a card on this way. I click on here, and that should take me into being able to make a card. Okay, so now I am actually in... Creator Studio because I don't believe they have this. Okay. Um, so no, we should already have our. I don't think they have this actually uh, finished in um, in Studio Beta. Okay. So now. A card can go anywhere. And it will show up, and I will show you. Now this is a card. You can do a video or a playlist. You could do another channel, or you could do a poll, right? So I'm just going to go create. And because this is the only one that I have, now you can also customize your message. doing here and this is actually good for you as well because it gets bigger
Now you'll notice you cannot put a lot of words in here because it counts your letters. And say I did um, watch. If I go x x x x x, it'll it's gonna tell me now I'm two characters over. So you can actually count your letters and um, put your words in here. And a teaser text will be. Uh, power of the I like power of the playlist or I could write something else So it's just a little bit of teaser text, and I'm just going to close that. Okay, now I told you I was going to show you where the card was going to show up. You ever see the the round circle with the eye in it? Okay. This is where the card shows up. This is what it is, that little thing that flies across your screen. And um, you can decide where it's going to show up. All right, now these are called elements. So I wanted to create another playlist. Okay, so I would then create this card, which is the, the two together. Now I either want them to show up like this, or I can change that. I can take one and make it show up in a different place. Of course, I would have to um, save this information. All right, and it, you can even promote your main channel as well. So, say I wanted to uh, use my other channel. I'm just going to look for my uh, other channel information. There we go. Hi, this is Rochelle, and welcome Sorry to my. That. And you just. Did I go too fast? What you do is you go to the top of your channel and you see this information here because I know I hate it when I'm watching something and someone's going too fast. You see this information here? You take that, you copy it, and go back into where it says channel username or your, uh, your RL. So I just took the whole URL and that just did something different. Custom messages. Um, just going to take that out. Oop. That's not what I wanted to do. Check out my latest video and then create a card. Okay. So now I've created this. These are my cards that I'm using. I could also create a poll if I wanted to. But that's a lot right now. To create a poll, you just follow this information here. It says create and then you just follow it. Okay. Now, getting back, this is the end screens. Now, the end screen is just what it says. Okay. This is something different that's come up in uh, Studio Beta, so let's... investigate. Okay, so this says uh, Outro Maker Cards. Now, I'm not sure if you have to pay for this or not. I 
Is this just something do, uh, new for me? Okay. Okay. I don't want that. Okay, so now these are called elements. And they'll go in the end 20 seconds of your video. And you can also promote another channel. And you can also have a poll. Whoops. I just went into cards. I just showed you the wrong information. Okay, so this is um, add an element. Thought something didn't look right there. See, now this is going to happen a lot with this new uh, YouTube Studio Beta until all the bugs are ironed out and it changes over completely because it, it's going to be a little confusing with stuff coming up and different things, okay? You can do a, a, a video playlist. You can do a subscribe button. And that's my phone. That's okay. It'll stop. Uh, you can create a playlist, and again, I've already have a playlist, but you could go most recent upload, best for the viewer. Just going to click that one, create an element. Now, you'll notice this right down here. Okay, this is going to run this here is going to run this distance now okay so this is the last uh, 20 seconds of your video so you don't you want to have a few things that are in there okay not just the best for the viewer you also want your subscribe in here as well and This is my subscribe, and then you will not be able to save it if these are overlapping. If this is overlapping like this, you will not be able to save it. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> this is, okay, this is different. How, how did that happen? You shouldn't be able to save something that's overlapping. It should always be... Hardest, most down, there's... We'll stop. And down, there's to be... Just as well. Okay, this has changed. This is helpful. Hardest. All right. So that's good. So now we don't have to worry about it being overlapping. Because somehow it's this is helpful. It's working okay. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so now getting back into, um, oops, to make sure that changes are saved. I understand why that is like that, and you're still able to save the changes. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. So now we're going to get back into our um, influence settings. Okay, this will then take you back into, uh, I believe, your. Well, this is Creator Studio right here. This is not Studio Beta. Okay. Anyways, I am going to save the changes. Okay, now I do have a number of places open, um, but I'm going to close one because I I want to go to another, I just want to do a little um, research here. We're going to go to Google. And 
I want to type in the uh, thumbnail size. Okay. So, there we go. YouTube thumbnail size. And you're going to see here dimensions 1280 by 720. Those that is your dimensions for your uh, thumbnail. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my um, Canva right now. Okay, so this is the one that I created. I'm going to show you. Okay, and how I created this is I downloaded a picture and I put it there. I went to, I believe, the I went into the elements and I went into um, illustrations. And I found something that I was interested in, which I believe was this right here. Uh, but you can find something that you're interested in. Uh, say you wanted to uh, use a, a house. You just click on that and you could resize it down to whatever size you wanted and put it anywhere that you wanted it okay now I also say so you wanted this just resize it put it anywhere that you want and you don't have to worry about saving it because it automatically saves it. Okay, and you can use anything that's free or if you do want to pay for something, you could use something that you wanted to pay for. This is actually pretty cool. I like that. So, you know, you take it down and put it, say I wanted to put it here or Now, you can also, like, this is different. I got this somewhere else. I got this someplace else. And I got this. And also, the color, you can change the color on this from blue um, to whatever color. It all depends on your illustration. Okay, so this gives you an idea of what you can use on your card. Um, I got these all in different areas, as you can see. I can move them around. Got this all in different areas. So, uh, look around. There's text. Now, I believe if we go all the way down here. You can see there's different, um, so I wanted this one. Oops, just click on there and put your text in, in here, like that, sorry, just put your text in there, and then see this little knob right here, this little C, Make sure you get, up. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that, move this to where you want it, and you can see I went and clicked it twice, if you want to get rid of it, click into this little, uh, garbage pail right there. All right. Uh, you can change color of the text. This is the uh, my text I'm talking about right now. This is what's highlighted is my text. Um, say you wanted to change the color black. You can then make your text black. Uh, you can bold it, italics, and see the rest is size here. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger, and you could change. The fonts and this is what the fonts look like in here okay but 
Um, for my purpose, I am just going to um, take it out because I don't need it. All right. So this gives you a general idea. See this picture here? What I did was I just clicked that and it brought that picture here to me and I can just put it anywhere, any place on this card. Okay, and I'm sure this helps out a lot when you're doing your thumbnails. Okay, okay. So basically when you're done with your thumbnail, check these all out. They all elements, text, your background. And check them all out. When you're done with this and you click download, you use the ping and then download it to your um, now you have to make sure of something like because I went and used a, d a design that I've already used it's going to come up as a zip alright so you want to open um, show in the folder okay and then open it up And then you're going to see there's two in here. So one and two. Uh, so I usually just take two if there is two. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this, sorry, in my desktop. I'm just going to take the two, put it out here on my desktop. Uh, I'll replace the file. Okay. All right. This is my um, I Google that's still opened, and this is my other one. Okay. Now the reason I told you to do that was so that you'd be able to make your thumbnail. Oops. This is not taking me in. You see how you can get. Confused for Googles. All right, so you know, on out, make sure you write Google account. Now, back to here. I'm at 46.8, and now I have done these things. But because I have a number of um, ones open, okay, it has it's now showing my checklist here. Done this. I've done the end screen. I haven't made it public or I haven't shared it on Facebook yet. Now I'm going to go back. Okay. Okay, so create a thumbnail. This was the whole thing that I was telling you about. Okay, you want okay. to click so on the other image, click on here. Now you can either um, open it using this or you could drop it in. And I'm just gonna find it so that I can drop it just drop it in just gonna drop that in here and it should drop in here for some reason it isn't not allowing me to do that okay so we're just going to open this file but you should be able to just drop it in and then of course it's too big click next 
go back, hit your title. Now, you might not think that um, in, uh, YouTube can read it, but YouTube can read your thumbnails. Okay, get your title that you're using for your video, copy it, and go back into your thumbnail and use your words in here. Now you can do it any way, but I'm just doing it this way just to, to do it this way. Now, the reason I did this was because the default is white. If you do it white, you're going to click on it. You're not going to see your you're not going to see your words unless you have a black screen. So I make sure that this is clicked on the black, and that this is clicked here. And I also usually do put a border in because it makes it pop more and then add the text. Now, as you can see, it needs to be fixed. So I'm just gonna fix it a little bit now. You can see that when I'm manipulating it, I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Now you can go into different areas and uh, change it, or you can uh, cut, you could cut and paste, like for instance, with this using right here. I don't know if I want to have that, so I'm going to decide if I'm going to take, sorry, if I'm going to take this out or not. You can work inside this box or Okay, say I wanted to take Facebook and cut it. It would then come out of there. I could work with this and I could put this where I wanted it. And then I click back, back in here where it says enter text, highlight that, click paste. I have my, inf I have my information in here and then add text and it comes up here, okay? I can then go into my um, my fonts. Can change the font to what I want. You know, depending on your preference. You know, and um, no, I, I see somebody might like that, but I don't. I usually go with Georgia. I like Georgia. Um, and then you can also change here, change the size. Now, if you want the same, and as you can see, that is not. That's too big. But you can work with it, okay? Just to show you uh, what's, what's available. Now, when you're finished going through the motions of this, I'm going to now take this out because I, I want to show you something here. Just click in here and click this X. It'll disappear. Click the X it'll disappear. Okay? Two things I wanted to show you. One is image. You could either now go into your computer and if you choose an image, like say I chose um, this image right here and I wanted to download it. This is how it would download it and it would be this big. But I see no sense in that, but just showing you, okay? Now, these, what this is, is this means bring it, copy it, okay? Now, 
let's say I have this here. Now this means go behind. Okay. When you have, when you're in and you have your image, say I chose. Um, this one here, these two dolls. Okay, now I have this and I have this here. Now actually, because the whole image, I can't move it around, but I'm gonna show you. When you have this, and say I get another image, um, say it's this, okay? See, I, see how I have that on top of that, like that? Now, if I go like this, I can now take this, and this now goes on top of that. Do you see that? If I click on this one, it will now go on top of that. If I go and click on that one, it will now go on top of that. Now, you can also use this, and this will make it darker and come more, fade more in or come more out. Um, and normally with an image, you do take away the box so that you, you don't see the box. Okay, so I'm taking away the border. All right. Um, I, can, uh, I can resize this. I should be able to resize this. I believe if you click image, you should be able to resize it using this little arrow here. And Okay, now if I wanted to um, use another image, say I wanted to use an image from here, um, let's just say I, I took this image here to come out, and if I wanted this now, it has, if you want to work with these, you have to uh, work with ones that you're downloading, that you're using, not something that's already on your uh, thumbnail, because it won't move. Okay? Okay, so now I have all this, right? I can get rid of it now. This means that I'm going to move this forward. So now this is going to come more forward. This means that it's going to go back. And this comes forward. See how I'm manipulating this like this? Okay. So now another thing that you can use is templates. If you like what you have, you can make a template. Um, I'm just going to choose my template that I made for um, Pinterest marketing and I'm going to load it. Okay, so now as you can see here, there it is right there. Now, I want to take this out because this does not belong. Okay, so this is, you know, basically now my template that I'm working with. Now the template is your writing. Okay, now this looks a little funny, so I am now taking that out. So now here, as you can see, and then shapes, circle, rectangle, and you can add your shape like that. That's what it comes in as. Or if, if you want it into a different color, Say you wanted a triangle, you could add your triangle in. So you can have your triangle, your rectangle. Um, going back into shapes, circle. You can make that another color, say green. Okay, and add that in. So now you have your circle and you do have another shape as well which is the eclipse i'm going to make that yellow no i'm going to make that blue all right sorry ellipse not eclipse <laughs> okay i'm being silly
All right. Okay, so it's pretty busy on here now, and um, I don't know. If you're looking at this thumbnail, would it be something that you'd be interested in, um, in seeing the video? Because it's a thumbnail that is going to attract people to click on your video. Okay, and then click Next and then save your thumbnail and like I said YouTube can read what's on your thumbnail so only use relevant stuff that you're working with thumbnail has been saved okay and I've clicked that too many times I do want it to close it's not closing so I'm gonna refresh the page see I'm just gonna click wait So now getting back into, uh, you do have to be careful if you do have a number of, uh, uh, if you have a number, number of uh, tabs open because that's, this is what happens. We're now, now into uh, Studio Beta. I now have my title, I have my description, and I have my keywords, I have my thumbnail. I've done my um, cards, I've done my end screen, and let's have a look. Now we're ready to publish. YouTube Studio Beta, I just want to go back here. Now I'm going to take my uh, title something's happened something has happened here I need to go back into my channel this is what happens when you have have a, a number of different tabs open with the same YouTube and especially with YouTube uh, Studio Beta now and Creator Studio, two different uh, things. Um, and as you can see, this is the one that I just worked at. We're still private, and I want to now make it public, save it. It's now turned it public, it's now visible. And I'm just going to go now into Pinterest marketing. Um, I'm going to look for my title. Just going to take my title because I want to see where I am. And it's already there. So here we go. Okay, this is actually um, my first one, all that I did. The other one isn't showing up yet. 
Uh, this is from my other channel that um, I was working on. Refresh the page. Okay, now getting back into it. I have everything that I need. There's something different about the uh, Studio Beta. And when I click into the Advanced, I can see everything pretty much looks the same. It's just not getting on to uh, YouTube as fast as the other one. Okay. So now, I'm sure you already have our... Uh, I don't actually want this to uh, go public because this was one that I did Basically, was you're just making money for Christmas. Yeah, so so I want to go back again and, and uh, just... Um, to show you here. Process, but you can I say change this. And you're also going to put a photo up here, whether it's yourself or, I don't or maybe some. want it to be. Christmas. Like I said, we're just doing this um, quickly. Because, you don't. because this isn't one that I want to go public. It's already out there, and I don't really need it to be up there. Where What I want is to get back into here. And um, go back into my channel. Enter my videos. Okay, so this is the one that I made four minutes ago, and this is the one that um, is the one that is ranking. Too. So that let's I get started. Rank, okay. The first place so that I want you to go is into your you where that um, was. internet. It doesn't matter where you're in Google so I, or you're in Yahoo, uh, and title. I want you to type this in. Create a, a Gmail account. In the um, in, in the bar, on so top, the search bar. Uh, this was this okay. is actually the video that I do want out there, and because this is a search engine, it will remember. Okay, so. There we go. So what has happened down here? How did I lose points? Somehow I have lost some points.
Okay. That's okay. Because this is the exact same one that I have. And this is the same one that I have. It's just different thumbnails and they're from different channels. But this is the, the same video. It just isn't um, propagating yet. Okay. Next step is to go back into the... Oh, there we go. It's back up there now, so that, that's good. Okay, the next step is now to go back into the channel. And when you go into your uh, customize your channel, now normally, two things for returning subscribers and for new visitors. For new visitors, you want a channel a channel trailer, so you would just um, make one or I have, have uh, tutorials um, that you can watch and you know basically you're going to be answering five questions okay in, in your tutorial you're going to be answering number one who you are no I'm sorry number one is f you're happy and um, you're thankful and you're welcoming people to your YouTube channel and you have to do that in a sincere way because you are happy that they are there and you do welcome them number two you're going to tell them who you are and what you do on your channel and uh, number three you're going to tell them when you post it's really important uh, important engagement is really important in YouTube okay um, so number three or sorry number four you're going to tell them when you post and number five is um uh you're going to tell them just um a little bit about uh, uh what you offer and number six is you're going to ask them to like and subscribe to your channel and all of this the introductory should be between one and two minutes Anything longer than that is too much. Some people do make it longer, but people don't, they're not interested. They only want to know who you are, what your channel's about, and whether they're interested in subscribing or not. Whether you're offering them something they're interested in or not. That's what they're interested in, and that's what you have to give them, and that will go here. Okay? Now, for now, I'm not going to put a, tra a channel trailer in because I haven't made one yet. But for returning subscribers, um, I do want to put my video. Now, remember, this is YouTube Studio Beta again, so... And then uh, we're going to go to uh, create your Google account. Yeah, yeah. Now, remember, a Gmail... Okay, I'm just going to go back here. Um, something is not right. Customize my channel. Home. Okay, so this is my featured content. And this is for new subscribers in which you would add a channel trailer. 
you would make your channel trailer, put it in here, click, and go save. This will then become your channel trailer. Okay? All right. Now, um, moving on. You can make channel art or you can add it. Okay? Either upload a photo and it has to be a certain size to uh, 2560 by 1440. You'll find it down here. Okay? You could either use your photos that you have, which of course would not be the right size, or go to the gallery. All right. Now, in the gallery, you could just choose one of these pictures here that you want. Okay. So, I kind of like this one, so I'm going to choose this one. Now, it's going to show you what it's going to look like, and then select it. And there you go. Okay? And you can always change it again just by this right here. Edit the channel art or edit the links. Okay, if you want to edit the links, click Edit Links. And when you go into the links, you're going to see links down here. First of all, let's go through, you can, you put your channel description in here, okay, and I'm just going to get a little bit of a description from here, just to show you, I'm going to copy it from here, you can type it all out right now. Pull out these, um, these boxes here, I'm just going to and decide on what you want to use as a username for this new account. Um, I'm just going to call it um, Pinterest. Okay. Just going to use a little bit of information here into my description. And I am going to have to make it bigger because I can't see. All right. And I have my email. Here we go. And put my email address in here. And, um, sorry, I'm calling it to Pinterest. Pinterest marketing tips. Oh, and anything, I still have the other then video I will on, be which I don't want. Okay. Uh, location is... Canada. Now, when you get into your links, this is, see the links right here where it says custom links? You can add five. Okay? You could, there's five that you can add, and I'll show you where they're going to show up. Your first link is going to be your Facebook. You go to where it says your Pinterest marketing tips. You grab, make sure that you're actually on the page. So you go in here and click on here and then you're going to see this here. You just grab this up here. Click. Sorry. I got ahead of myself. Go to your Pinterest uh, or your um, your Facebook actual marketing page or your Facebook page. Just go back there. Okay. Now you see this information up here on the top. You're going to get that, and there's going to be a number. Now this number will not change until you have so many likes on your page. Okay. You're going to copy that. Go back into your YouTube and put it in here. Paste that in there. Okay. And then your title, of course. It's going to be the title of your page. Mine is the Pinterest uh, marketing tips. Just going to 
we'll copy that. Go back into here and then go back into there. And then click add. Okay, that's my first one. And I'm going to add another one. See, it's since custom. Now you do, you can add your Amazon one if you want to, and it should take you into. It should take them actually into Amazon. I believe, but we're going to add the uh, Pinterest one. Okay, so this is the Pinterest one here, and, and then we're going to go back into here and click Add and Paste, and then this is um, Pinterest. Okay. Now, usually you can also you can add three more, but I'm going to click done. Now, I'm going to go back to my channel, and you can see that it's showing up here. Here is my Facebook, here is my Pinterest, and I can add three more. Okay. Now, if you wanted to actually put a title on this, um, you can click and you can go save as. And I'm going to save that as Rochelle YouTube uh, 24. And it's in the download. Okay. Then you would go into your which you'll find under your windows uh, accessories you'll find your paint in here just click on that and it should open up a paint unless I went too fast okay there's my paint and then you're going to go paste from remember where you saved that little bit of information. Okay, so this box will then come up, your downloads. And I'm looking for the, uh, just like this to go into my Q to Z. Okay, this is YouTube channel art. Okay, we'll say I that was on the eleventh. It's not the eleventh. I'm just gonna go look at the time here. This is why I always send it to my desktop because I tend to forget it. I tend to forget where I put it. Okay, well, let's just download this one. And that was the wrong one. Okay. Let's go back into here again. Save this again. I want to save it my desktop this time.
open my paint sorry go to a new file so don't save that and now paste from I'm gonna have to um, end this tutorial soon and I may have to start a new one okay and then open Sorry, go into my desktop. Now, where did I find the, where did I, where did it go? I know I saved it in here. Well, anyways, oh, it's gone into these files here. Alright, for some reason it's gone in here, and, okay, I'm going to have to end this tutorial, because, um, I don't want to take your time in finding this file, but save that and go to paint and then download it and put your information in here okay so the next step will be um going into your actual uh, video again and using the share button going into the video and using the share button to share it to all of the different areas Hi, this is Rochelle. I'm going to show you This is the share button here. Okay, click on that. You can use this button or you could use a buttons inside. You can also, this is your, um, your shareable link right there. But you go to uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Blogger, Reddit, and of course uh, Pinterest when it comes up and you copy all of your um, you share it to every single one of these social networks and by the time you're done you should then have on your Pinterest you should have it on your Pinterest either on a, a board, another board that you create for your videos and which, let me just look at my boards here. So my computer is lagging a little bit because uh, I have so many um, open right now but these are all my boards and um, I've already created a board in the first tutorial uh, for Amazon and using the Amazon products in which I um, I did show you in the first tutorial, so you, that 
that should be created. There it is, Amazon deal of the day. And I showed you how to do this um, just by going into your Amazon. I went to the deal store and then picking something out and and continue to do it till your board is filled up. Okay, um, and you're just going to click into this box here. And using your um, icons right here, the first one you're you're going to do first, you're going to copy this because you do need this information right there. Then you're going to click on your Facebook. And it should open the Facebook that you need this to go on. Whereas I have a number of different Facebooks, so I'm just going to go share on the page and Pinterest marketing tips. And then I'm just going to click paste. No. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to copy this and to then Okay, well, it took me out of there, so let's just go back in here again. And, um, you know, I was in Pinterest. And then I went here. And then I wanted to copy this. And then open up my Facebook. Okay. okay. Then I wanted to find my page that I manage. And I have a number of different pages here. And it's this one. And, and I wanted to hopefully copy this information. Good. And, and now. It says the same thing on it. Okay, so it's up to you with information that you want to copy and post this to Facebook. Okay, and then I, I wanted to click on Pinterest. my image, save it in Amazon to deal of the day. Now I wanted to go up to here where it says side sites right and I wanted to go into my text. Because this is going to give me my text that I want. I'm going to copy this. This is now the link to this page here. Go back into my Pinterest. Sometimes you need to refresh the page. Because I was sure that I saved that. 
and then it ends up being there twice. So there it is right there. And I just want to go into this pin that I just made right here. Whoops. You can tell it's getting dark. It's 457. Okay, and then I just want to go into this pin right here. Um, up to this little, sorry, up to this pencil right here. Click on that. It's going to open my pin. There's a couple things I want to do. One thing is I want to take out this information that I don't need in here. And I want to put in the, the link that I just copied. So we're going to put that in there and then save. Okay, so now if I click into this pin right here, it should have my information. And I am now saving it. I'm saving it to my... I've already saved it. I've already saved it, so I'm just going to go back here and make sure that it's saved to the right board. Okay, so there's my um, my boards. It's an overview. It's my board. And there's my pin. Okay, so now you're wondering, what does YouTube have to do with this? Okay, well, YouTube is, uh, if you are building a channel, YouTube is very important, okay? Because what you're going to do is you're not going to take your video, make sure that it's shared to your, all of these places, but you also have to make sure that it's shared to your Pinterest. It's important that you share your video to your Pinterest. This is not the ideal place for um, creating a tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to share that now. Now, I'm either going to create a new board or add I'm going to share it to a board that I already have. Okay, one of my boards I am going to share it to is my affiliate board. I can just click in here. Click save. And also, I have a YouTube board. Oops. Okay. So now I got everything all sent. I got everything all, all saved, and my um, my actual video here is ranking. So. The only thing left to do, there's the, the video and it's ranking up here. So the only thing left to do now is to do the steps over again. Okay? Let's go into your Amazon. choose your product now see with deal of the day 
you have to watch this too because it's always changing so it all depends on you know what you want to put up there Now it's because I, I have Prime, it's $59.99 and it's free delivery by Friday. Okay, you have to watch your dates if you are using the deal store. And if you do have Prime as well, you get the free delivery, which that's why I say it's worth it. And then to your Facebook. On a page that you um that you created, okay. okay. And with me, it was a Pinterest marketing. Post it. I did forget to put the information in, but that's okay. And then once that is done, go to your Pinterest. You can also use Twitter, but I haven't uh, got it set up right now for this tutorial, and it uh, it is getting pretty dark out. So after this is done, this tutorial will be over, and you will accomplish, uh, I believe, uh, five things, six things. Okay, one. You will have a new email, Gmail, with your new Google account. Two, you will have a new Facebook page. Three, you will have your Amazon account. Four, you'll be using your Pinterest account. And five, you'll be using your YouTube. And I showed you how to rank the videos. Okay? And always remember that you can always go and look in your... Um, Google portal. Okay, so uh, please leave me a comment down below. I really need to uh, see that uh, what I'm doing people like and then I can do more. Okay, and it also helps my channel. So uh, leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe because I do have more tutorials coming out and more information uh, that's going to help you to be able to do what you want to do uh, in order to maintain your internet presence. So, this is Rochelle saying have yourself a good evening and um, thank you for staying with me through this whole tutorial. Bye now.